Right now we're directly over the position of the Britannic wreck and the guys here are marking its position. They're putting out buoys all around this area to keep shipping away while the divers are in the water and pretty soon they'll be lowering a diving bell to go down for the divers to use as they're decompressing on the way up. They have to spend five hours in that diving bell decompressing because this dive is so deep. This is the three-person submersible, one of several amazing bits of kit on this dive ship operated by U-Group from Malta. And over there, there's a team of divers preparing to go down onto the wreck of the Britannic, the sister ship of the Titanic. So if we have a closer look at the three-person submersible, which we'll be going down on to see the wreck, it's basically a large acrylic dome, 20 centimetres thick, surrounded by this propulsion machinery. We've got vertical thrusters here to send it up and down, horizontal thrusters to send it forward and back. Oh, so we're inside the sub now with Dimitri, the pilot, and we've come down 120 metres. And here is the wreck of the Britannic. I mean, and she just looks extraordinary. The scale of her enormous, enormous ship, 900 feet long. But yet the detail when you get up close, the things you can see, the bathtub, the floor tiles, you can see the glass in the windows, you can see the telegraph, the levers that they pull to propel this ship along. <laughs> it's the most amazing sight. And the fingertip detail that Dimitri can use here with this joystick to control the sub, to get in really close, to get back, to see the view, and the lights just lighting it up. I mean, it just brings it to life. It's the most amazing experience.